using a particular operating system can sometimes be boring, and you might want to consider switching. If that is the case, there are certain things you need to do before migrating to a new OS or even a new device. I am not trying to force you to leave the OS you're accustomed to and move to something new. This is for those who wish to try something new. For this video, we will consider what it is like to switch to Linux Mint from Windows, what you must keep in mind before switching, and how to do it. Linux-based OS is built with Windows users in mind. You don't need to worry about the complexity of the Linux command line because about 99% of tasks are done with a Windows-like GUI. Users can navigate effortlessly through menus and settings and perform tasks without needing to touch the command line. The overall structure and interface of Linux Mint are designed to be new user-friendly. You would be impressed to see that most of your favorite apps had Linux versions which can be installed and managed through its GUI software manager. Some of these apps include Discord, Telegram, Blender, Spotify, etc. Wait, there's more! Linux Mint also supports running Windows apps directly on the Linux OS through tools like Wine or Bottles. Linux Mint is highly customizable. It gives you complete control over your desktop, particularly the Cinnamon desktop. Feel at home to customize your theme and desktop layout to suit your taste. Linux Mint inherits the security foundations of Linux. Security features like firewall protection and regular updates ensure you stay secure whether you're online or offline against the latest threats. This is the most important step as it helps us to recover your information in the future. Files to backup include documents, photos, videos, etc. All you have to do is to get an external drive and move everything to that drive. No special tools or software are required. Just select and drag from the old OS into the external drive. You don't want an OS that obstructs your workflow. I mean, what's good is it if your backup data is incompatible with the new operating system? For example, Linux Mint has a LibreOffice that is compatible with Microsoft Office file formats like .docs, .ppt, .xls, etc. Hardware compatibility is another aspect to consider. Verify that your hardware meets the minimum requirements for the new operating system to avoid potential performance issues. Here is the minimum requirement for installing Linux Mint. RAM, 4 gigabytes. Storage, 20 gigabytes disk space. Processor, 1 GHz dual core processor. Display resolution, 1024 by 768. You can manually delete your files or better still perform a full formatting. Note that this action completely erases everything stored on the drive. Ensure you already have a backup somewhere. If the new Linux OS doesn't recognize the drive, you can set the drive to unallocated. If possible, take out the drive you want to format and insert it as an external drive in a working system. Then use the disk manager to format it. Head over to the official page and grab the .iso file. Use it to create a bootable drive with the Ventoe tool using an 8GB flash drive. Now use the bootable USB drive to perform a clean installation. You should try out a live boot on a virtual machine, which allows you to try out the software before installing. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, ensure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos.